coating mixing seems to be as simple as it sounds, but a proper mixing is an important step of the coating process that must not be ignored. The coating manufacturers supply most of the coatings in two components, and to avoid errors in application and curing, a coating applicator must ensure that multi-component coatings are mixed correctly before application. Treating inorganic zinc coating in the same way as other coatings can result in a faulty application. Inorganic zinc coatings have the unique ability to provide galvanic protection to the mild steel surfaces. The coating has a large amount of metallic zinc dust combined with a silicate binder that requires an extremely clean surface for application. An abrasive blast cleaned surface for the coating application can provide excellent corrosion protection when used in chemical plants, refineries, and coastal or offshore installation. Zinc can be used as a single layer coating system or as a primer of a multi-layer coating and is compatible with epoxies, acrylics, and silicones. Skills required for successfully mixing and application are Before starting mixing the parts, make sure you have the correct components that are made to mix with each other. Verify the expiration date of the components to be mixed and don't use them to mix if their shelf life expired. Utilize a power mixer for the mixing and never mix the components partially. Mix the liquid part of the component before introducing the dust into it and pour the dust very slowly into the pre-mixed liquid with continuous agitation. Do not add the liquid to the powder. Keep mixing the components until it is free of lumps and a homogeneous mixture is achieved. Thinner may be added after mixing the components. You now have to filter the mixture through a 30 mesh screen before introducing it to the spray pump. Because the zinc pigment is heavy and will rapidly settle out, the mixed material requires continuous agitation during the application. The coating must be applied before the pot life has expired and, while application, the applicator must apply the coating as a wet coat in even, parallel passes and within the recommended thickness.